There's a saying that challenges come in threes. Well, you're about to meet a Utah family that is facing its ninth major challenge in the same amount of years. The Haas family may be down on their luck, but they have an unbreakable spirit that's helping them survive the tough times. I think through these trials, I've come to really understand that this isn't the big picture. You know, that there's more, there has to be more to that. You know, there has to be a reason that we're going through this. Shane and Amy Haas take on life's challenges one day at a time. They live in Sandy with their eight children, and their days fill up quickly with some serious obstacles. That was one of those things where you're like, how do we handle this? But yet when you just get down to it and it's your own kid, you just do what it takes. You just handle it. From cancer to head injuries, severe sickness to facial deformities, and then more cancer. The hits just keep coming. I think we just have to be tougher than what's going against us. And we can't really do much except love each other and be there for each other. You could say the Haas family has an attitude problem, an infectious, positive attitude that is, and that's helping them stay strong. We get out of bed every day and we take care of our kids and, you know, for us, our kids are extremely comical. There's not a day or a minute that we are not laughing at something. I think how close we've always been. Um, we're able to talk about anything, talk through anything, and we're there for each other. A daughter faced Hodgkin's disease, another a cleft lip and palate. A third daughter sustained a severe head injury riding a zip line. Well, when you have the downs, you know when you have the ups, and the ups are so much better. There's a lot of bad things that have happened, but there's more, there's more good things that have happened. There's that positive attitude again, showing up just in time to help the family take on more challenges. A son battled meningitis, mom has breast cancer, and is recovering from a bilateral mastectomy. And dad, he's fighting stage four lung cancer. But this family just keeps on going. They face the challenges and celebrate the wins, like weddings and clean bills of health when they come, and a daughter who is serving an LDS mission. There's a lot of bad things that have happened, but there's more, there's more good things that have happened. Good things like the love from family, neighbors, and friends. No matter what happens, you know, they you think they just get sick of us, but they just rally around us and, you know, something happens and everybody just wants to help. And believe it or not, the family sees these challenges as something positive. It's really hard, but challenges, I feel like, are there to strengthen us. So it's nice to, uh, we can all come together through this and help each other out. Their faith makes a difference. Myself, I have to have that faith because that's the only way you can get up in the morning. It's something that keeps us grounded and helps us to know, you know, what lies ahead. We can get through anything. And although the future is uncertain, they seem to be at peace. I hope I can be here. I'm going to do everything I can. I know I have great doctors and great specialists that will do everything they can, but I know in the end it will be the way it's supposed to be. Some kind neighbors created a website to help the Haas family. There are several fundraisers coming up, and the Haas family could use some help to pay the hefty medical bills. If you'd like to help them out, visit our website at goodforutah.com. There you will find a link to the family's website. In Sandy, Robin Seville, Good For Utah.